<coughs> Peace and light the old guy Australia. Like, share, subscribe, YouTube, Instagram. <coughs> Door shut. Little your organics. Look, Joe, I'm having something healthy. He goes the boats out and do a little whale watching. High tide here, and I can't see any fish at all. Anyway, be that as it may. Now, you know that I've been rabbiting on about um, APRA and the gagging of healthcare professionals in Australia. And I released that video. You can find it on my uh, Facebook page under my name. And um, that video in there is a doctor uh, speaking and uh, letting the interviewer know that there's nothing they can they can say how how gagged they are, gagged they are. now I think it was on Turning Point Australia that the uh, video was sent from, to me so anyway one of the things that's come to my attention and as we've all known this is a worldwide uh, agenda they follow the same principles protocols and procedures all around the world have done since day one it's very carefully planned and executed and uh, I put out a video the other week explaining how in Australia the government's looking to take over all medical practitioners. Now this is legislation Brad has, uh, uh, although he says he's leaving, and apparently he is, but it's putting in place before he goes. This covers all healthcare experts, as I explained before, it's, it involves everybody from chiropractors to doctors, and they all can only uh, operate according to government guidelines and regulations. They can't operate outside that. Now, what you may not know is the same principles operating in a place called BC, British Columbia, over in Canada. And uh, next week they vote on legislation in the government that will literally do exactly the same thing. Give the government full control over doctors and medical uh, practitioners and healthcare professionals. And that involves, again, the same thing. Uh, chiropractors, naturopaths, people, Reiki practitioners, you name it. Now this has never happened before in the history of the world, but we know it's been brought about because things are being exposed, and when the lies are exposed and, uh, and uh, these people have the answers, then the only thing you can do is brand them as right-wing misinformation and then ban them or control them in some way. The other side of that, which was really, really insidious in British Columbia, is that uh, the government's also putting in that legislation that should any healthcare professionals refuse to be jibby-jabbied, they'll lose their licence immediately. Because you may not be aware they operate under a slightly different system where medicos can operate individually on their own, and they, because they're operating individual practices, they're under no obligation to have been jibby-jabbied unless they're working within the government system. Slightly different to Australia, but they're changing that. They're changing that. So, of course, we now have a mass exodus of people within the healthcare systems over in British Columbia. I was watching a video on, on it this morning, and um, it's quite shocking, really, that these people are willing to go to these kinds of lengths. Now, we know Trudeau is a puppet. Uh, he is a, uh, a uh, graduate of the... WEF's Young Globalist Program, as Macron and uh, Dern are, etc., etc., and, and Rishi, the new boy in um, England. <coughs> Here in Australia, we've got Greg Hunt. And we know they're all graduates of the World Economic Forum's Young Globalist Leaders Program. We saw Klaus Schwab come out there a year or so ago and say how proud he was that he had graduates from his uh, Young Globalist Leaders had, in his own words, infiltrated all levels of governments. It's quite fascinating when you listen to a man who's the uh, leader of the Fourth Reich and going to bring about the Great Industrial Revolution, uh, preaching this stuff from the hilltops, and nobody's listening. Well, we are, but nobody else has taken any notice. They just think it's, you know, pissing the wind. <coughs> I don't know why you don't take this guy seriously. I don't know why Antonio Guterres from the UN isn't taken seriously. I don't know how you could just blow all that off as some kind of conspiracy theory, because what? You think it doesn't affect you. Well, they told you they were going to bring Agenda 2034, and they're doing it rapidly. They know the push is on and the exposure is on. They know they don't have a great amount of time left. They know there's a limited amount of time, and it's a fight of good against evil. Who's going to win this? We have fantastic politicians, doctors, people in the ADFs, 
um, people in law enforcement, all fighting and fighting and fighting very hard. And we also have amazing truthers who are getting this information out to the public, mainly on alternative platforms. One thing I wanted to bring up about that, and this disturbed me greatly, we've been waiting, uh, well, bated breath to some degree, I guess, for Stu Peter's new documentary. Uh, carked it quickly, if you know what I mean. And I went and watched it, and uh, I was severely disappointed. And that's just me. Now, I've always maintained that you can't just have confirmation bias. You can't just get information and say, wow, that's what it's like, that's how it is, that must be truth, because it lines up with what you believe to be truth. I never liked that. And that's why I've never been as popular as maybe I could be or should be or would be. And it will never probably happen, because I question everything, even things on the side of the truthers. You know, and, it's, and I didn't initially, I guess, I kind of went along with a lot of stuff, but now I do. So Stu Peter's documentary on um, carking it quickly really left me with a bit of taste in my mouth. There's a tremendous amount of information on there that's suggestive, intimated, and unsubstantiated. There's very little fact in as much as we know the facts, but there's no scientific evidence presented, no real proof given. There's a lot of uh, hearsay and tremendous amount of video footage which people who are in the truthing community, I guess, to some degree, then they go, oh my God, that's what we knew was going to happen. They're just falling over, blah, 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 blah. Because it lines up with what we think and believe. But, you know, you're not trying to convince me. I'm trying to convince others. And they look at that and think it's rubbish because it's unsubstantiated. I, I just want the facts. I want the medical facts. I want the scientific facts. And I want them to prove things, not just be hearsay or set to a nice uh, bit of music and a voiceover with the right tonal qualities. You know, it's just not on. So I'm sorry, and I'll be one out on that. I've seen too many of these kind of documentaries and they just leave a bit of taste in my mouth. So anyway, there you go. That's my 10 cents worth. Anyway, peace and light to the old guy Australia. We know we win in the end. It's a big fight, a long fight, and it's going to get really, really ugly heading into 2023. I wish you all the best. I love my little Joe. She's at home. Leanne's up in Sydney having a babysit. We've got the rotalope. That's the Rottweiler crossed antelope. He thinks he's an antelope, but he's not. He's just a ginormous, freaking leaping maniac. But anyway, we'll look after him for the week. I got him a bone the size of his back leg. He can chew on that all week, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, we did all right fishing yesterday, not really. Adam got a couple took home, that's that's a great thing. But uh, it's been blowing it, blowing and blowing its butt off down here on the south coast. And uh, it's only today that the wind's dropped off and uh, changed direction. So, but it's still a pretty good looking day. Peace and light to the old guy Australia. Like, share, subscribe. See you soon.